these figures haven't been seen in decades as more criminals are handed the ultimate punishment. Amnesty International says that more than 1,600 people were put to death in 2015. 25 countries executed prisoners, but the ones you see here are of most concern to the organization. Saudi Arabia executed 158 people last year. The Gulf state continues to behead its prisoners. Almost 1,000 people were put to death in Iran. The government says most are for drug-related crimes. And compared to the previous year, this is a staggering rise in Iranian executions. And Pakistan lifted a ban on the death penalty last year after gunmen murdered children at a school in Peshawar. And now an unprecedented number of people have been hanged. Since then, we've seen a massive surge. Uh, they literally from zero went up to 326. This is the highest we've recorded for Pakistan. So they started off saying that we'll use it for terrorism-related offenses but now they've gone uh, far beyond it. The report says the three countries you've just seen account for 90% of executions, but the grim title of world's top executioner rests with China. Uh, Amnesty believes it has put thousands of prisoners to death, but Beijing considers this information a state secret, so it's impossible for researchers to give a proper number. Uh, Amnesty does point out, though, China is reducing the number of capital punishment offenses. Now the report, it also criticizes North Korea for its constant human rights violations. Pyongyang also refuses to reveal how many people it executes. However, despite this upward trend, much of the world continues to strive for the abolition of the death penalty. Now four more nations have scrapped capital punishment. Fiji, Madagascar, the Republic of Congo, and the tiny South American nation of Suriname. Now this means for the first time, a majority of countries have fully abolished capital punishment, a promising development, according to Amnesty, but it also exposes a glaring divide in how the world punishes criminals. Christy Lustout, CNN.